invited for that what I call the old fintechs. That's not anymore. I know, Marie, you are not a fintech. But, uh, sorry, I was young at the time, and for me, Borsorama was a fintech at this time. So in the end of the 90s, uh, we spoke this morning of the bank, Fortuneo, and Borsorama, and ENG Direct when you, you launched first in the end of the 90s. So uh, for me, sorry, Borsorama and ENG are the old fintechs, like PayPal now is an old guy in payments. And we have four disruptors, very different. First, four different countries. Uh, Hugues from uh, Hugues Lebret from uh, a Comte Nickel in France, um, Johan from uh, Olvi in Finland. And I've been to see you, but it was very dark in Finland at this season. Uh, Tom from Mondo in U in uh, UK, and uh, Valentin from uh, Number 26 in Germany. That you must know because he does a very great job in PR in France right now. I don't know if you do that. You must teach me. Um, so four different people from different countries, but also four different business. Just quickly to put the stuff. Uh, we have Contnikel, which is a new kind of banking uh, with branches, so like branches, I mean with tabac shops, we'll see that later. We have Olvi, which is specialized, specialized in the niche market, but quite big in Europe, SMBs. If you think about all the Uber's guys outside, they are SMBs. Um, we have Tom, uh, which is more on the mobile bank uh, in UK, also with a specific focus, because he wants to be a bank, a real one. So we discussed this morning about the fact that it's possible in the UK. And uh, uh, Valentin, which uh, already is alive for a long time now, more than one year, and more than 100,000 customers, so quite traction, uh, in financial services, payment and so on, but not a bank right now. So this is just to put uh, where the people, and I'm sure everybody knows Benoit from uh, ex former uh, leader of ENG uh, Direct France, ENG France, sorry, and now head of FinTech. So, uh, Perhaps you don't know them from Germany, but I can tell you that every bank uh, executive committee, when they speak about uh, what doing in online banking, I don't know if they speak about you, but they speak about Hugues or about Marie. Because both Rama and the uh, Comte Nickel in France are among, you are also Fortunio, but among most innovative uh, and ENG. Sorry. <laughs> innovative. I will, I will speak up. Yeah, I'm sure. I know you, you will take. Uh, so, most innovative uh, uh, bank we have. So, on your side, Valentin, I know you, some, uh, I know some journalists know you already, but could you first precise a bit what is number 26, what's your business, and where you stand today, after I have some other questions? I think it's, it's very simple. I think we, we build a pan-European bank completely on your smartphone. Uh, so it's a fully-fledged uh, bank account that you can get, uh, and in the future, in a couple of months from now, you will get uh, like, uh, all, the, all the products that you expect from, uh, from a bank. It's saving, it's credit, it's insurance. Uh, so everything actually that a traditional bank has, but in a much leaner uh, uh, IT operations, uh, like a D platform, and uh, which, um, with a much broader focus across Europe, uh, so 28 countries instead of one country, and uh, which much leaner organizational structure. Today you are open in how many, how many countries? So today we are live in eight countries across eight. Europe. France uh, included. France is included, uh, but we've just launched before Christmas in, in France as well. Uh, and we have just done uh, a soft launch. So the product to date is still like in, in German and English only. And we will do full localization now in Q1. Yeah, you see we advise French here. So <laughs> French speaking. That's, that's why it's so impressive that already a lot of customers sign up to yeah. our product. How France. many customers already you signed from your beta? Actually, I, uh, they, it's not beta, it's available, um, but um, I think to give you a perspective on yesterday, I think yesterday uh, around 300 people signed up in, 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 France. in France. Okay, so just to come back on your product, today, you say soon you will be the full banks. Okay, what is today? What can I have with number 26 if I subscribe? So today it's a fully fledged bank account. Uh, attached to it, you get a, a master debit card, master from MasterCard, and you get a MasterCard if you want. Uh, for the product in Germany, you can also go like overdraft, uh, um, and that's basically the product that you have. So you have a fully fledged bank account, you have an IBAN, which an IBAN and a big, um, so you can do everything you expect from a traditional bank, including like uh, a little bit of credit. And I can open everything from mobile? Yeah, so um, um, our account can be opened like within six minutes, uh, completely on your smartphone. We do a video conference call, uh, um, so to verify your identity, verify your ID documents, that's sufficient from, uh, on, on, based on German law, um, and it takes like from Typing in your data to get a full account like it takes six to eight minutes. Uh, two days later, you get your card and then we can start. And do you have already? You have 100,000 customers, uh, something like that, no? So we had one year anniversary yesterday where we announced that we have 100,000 customers. So we have a little more right now. 
um, and I think uh, we'll have a couple of hundred thousand more by end of this year. My question was, uh, will be about what are your customers? I mean, are there only uh, young people, millennials wanted, uh, I mean, not liking banks or any kind of customers? Do you have already some stats about that? I mean, in general, our customer is the digital native between like 18 and I would say 35. Uh, so young people that have grown up with, uh, with the smartphones, for f they're using smartphones every day. And just people that are fed up with old banking brands and, uh, uh, and products that don't work on mobile. Uh, so it's really like people that would like to save time, want to have transparency and want to use a, a cool product on the go. Okay, you work on mobile, but I still pay with a credit card. It's still a MasterCard debit card. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, in that respect, I think we're very much driven by the needs of the customers. Uh, you have to be honest. I think, uh, uh, like, mobile payment on, on, on the smartphone hasn't have a, big didn't traction. have a, a big pickup in all the countries we're in. Uh, I think it would be great for us uh, if we don't, we wouldn't need the card anymore. I think that's coming in a couple of years. But it's independent. Our business model, it's, it's not affected by if you, it's even better if people pay directly with their smartphone instead of using a card. But for now, we're offering cards because people like it. And we were mentioning the, the need sometime to put cash. I, I've read that you've, de you've done a deal in Germany with another fintech to take money on, the, on some shops. Can you explain a bit what you're So doing? in general, we have the strategy, instead of doing all the products ourselves, we kind of build a platform for all the fintech innovation that is happening and plugging different startups in that have great products. Uh, one example for this is so we're working together with a startup in Germany uh, that have established a, a network with like around 10,000 retail shops. And uh, now in Germany, you can actually go into a retail shop and pay in cash or take out cash from your number 26 account, which works in real time. So you're there, you create a barcode on your smartphone, they scan it, you, you either give them money or they give you money, and it's in real time booked from your account. So I think it's all about like how can you leverage the fintech innovation that is, uh, is going on, it's when all the, the forum here is about, and how you can bring that together on one platform and outbeat uh, the traditional banks. So, so your goal is to have like the core uh, system and you will plug other fintech offers like for example Global Savings or some other, Saving Global, sorry. Absolutely, so uh, I think uh, what we're working on is we have the strong strong belief in, in what we're doing that um, banking has changed in a couple of ways. One thing is obvious, it's all on mobile. Uh, the second thing is, do you have to do all the products uh, on your own balance sheet? And I think uh, uh, banking uh, has changed in a way that you should keep the balance sheet small and you should keep with you should work with specialized partners for each dimension. And I think the value is created not in structuring a, a credit. I think everybody can do that. Uh, I think it's maybe the data that is valuable. And it's maybe, uh, uh, and the valuable thing is the connection to the cu customer and how you seamlessly integrate a product in, into your mobile phone and into a mobile app. So I think that's where the value is created and it's not in, in structuring complex credit products and having a big balance sheet. It's more in having the data, having the connection to the consumer uh, and having the right, the right products with a lean structure. And in the end, what does this mean for our customers? They have the better products in each dimension, so, um, and, and they have it for a lower price. And I think that's great. So you want to unbuild the bank by aggregating all the fintech that you need in different countries? And in the end, you're still free to do some of the products where you think there's high margin. You can still contract them yourself. So I think it gives you the freedom of being very fast in having a very diversified uh, product. Uh, I speak about it because uh, you have a different way of view of wisdom. Uh, and you, what is your agreement today? I mean, you are doing that, you are like a bank. We speak of the word bank since a few minutes, but you are not a bank. Absolutely. Today we are operating under the umbrellas of our partner bank, which is a big German uh, bank, not in retail banking, but in acquiring business. It's called Wirecard Bank. And uh, I think in the end, uh, uh, the license is just one, one like, pillar in, in doing banking. I think in the end, if you ask our customers, they will say, yeah, my bank is number 26, yeah, although we don't have a banking license. Um, but I think... Still, I think it's good to have, have the license topic. I think it's good that people have trust in if you're doing something in retail banking, that you still have to operate with a licensed partner. Um, and uh, yeah, and that's how we work today. So you are doing a bank without the, uh, the asset sheets and uh, balance sheet and without the license problem? That's quite good. <laughs> yeah, I think it uh, has some benefits. And uh, last question, because I asked this morning to your friends, uh, um, is there really new techno because we say fintech, yeah. or mainly is uh, what you just described, uh, cleverness in the way you do lean banking and you choose a good partner. Is there really big technology issues in what you are doing? So I, 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 there's, I think it's all about technology. So I think it's all about like, uh, the platform that you're building, the flexibility of the platform, and that's actually the edge that we are having. 
um, we, not, we don't base our, our, our products on a 30-year-old on a technology platform. I'll give you a number. Deutsche Bank uh, in Germany tried to switch to a slightly newer system from SAP, and they invested a billion, and they stopped the project because it didn't work. So um, I think if, uh, the best way for a traditional bank would be to shut off their old systems and, and build a new bank. Uh, <laughs> most of them cannot do it, especially in, on the French market, because like, uh, um, uh, how do you say, uh, uh, the... Uh, uh, be nice with us, please. Uh, the, uh, the employee, like organizations, are so strong that you cannot do that. Um, but I think that's the beauty of our business. We have a focus on a customer that doesn't need a branch. Uh, and therefore, we can like, also we can innovate. Like, if you build a bank from scratch, uh, obviously, you do it different than traditional ones. Thank you very much.